and welcome to Girls Can Do Anything, the show that encourages ladies to just give it a crack. We've just finished painting this bedroom and this thing now just stands out. It's looking horrible for me now. It's an aircon unit, it works perfectly fine, but with the nice clean white walls, we can really see how much this has yellowed over the years. It's a pretty old unit, but as I said, it works fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint it. Don't know how it'll turn out, but let's give it a crack. So all this front stuff came off relatively easy. It'll give us a good opportunity to give that a good clean out. I'm going to take these outside now and give them a spray paint with some nice white gloss paint. So before we spray it, I'm going to give it a clean up. There was this black um, foam all around here. Obviously it stopped the vibration, but it's just disintegrated. So I've ripped that out and I'm going to replace it with some just some styrofoam. Uh, that I had left over from another project. So we'll pack that in there, give it all a good clean up before we spray paint it. Cutting styrofoam, the hacksaw is good with fine, with little fine teeth or a, um, a nice sharp knife like a box cutter blade. Beautiful. We've picked um, a spray paint here that clearly says it's for wood, metal and plastic. Uh, it doesn't need a primer because it's a paint and primer enamel, enamel in one, so it hopefully will do the best job for it. I've given it all a good clean, patched up a couple of, or just covered a, some of the bits that um, have signage on them, I guess. Uh, and we're just really going to paint the top part of it. When you pa spray paint, make sure you're somewhere that's well ventilated but not too windy. Always give you a spray can, good spray, uh, sorry, good shake, and um, shake it a few times even during it. All right, when you're spray painting, don't stay in one spot for too long, just nice passes over it. You're better off letting it dry and coming back for a second coat than focusing on one spot too long or you'll end up with big blobs of it. <laughs> I just realized that the one the paint that I was just using was actually just a flat white so it's not going to be as shiny and I've got a few cans of these gloss enamels so since that's now down as a primer I'm going to go over it with a gloss one so it'll be a bit more of a shinier finish than what it is now There we go, a couple of coats of gloss paint on there and we now have a lovely white unit instead of that ugly yellow 
This colored thing that we had is much better.